It has been quite a while, hasn't it? I mean, not that you last saw me because I've been kind of killing it with uploading regularly, even though my life is like a mess, but... <laughs> okay, enough hyping myself up. We are back to judging, roasting, thinking, uh... Fuck, no, now the sentence doesn't make any sense anymore. Um, anyways, you know what we're doing. Last time I did this video, I swear I loved it so much. <laughs> I really wanted to open up a second channel to just react to houses. <sighs> well, if that wasn't a fever dream. Anyways, we're back at it. So, mm, since last time, I saw my absolute dream home, which might actually not be as expensive anymore because I know the property prices. So, should we check on my house? I don't even know if I can find it anymore. Mm, no. Could you imagine someone bought it? Like, my heart would be shattered in a million pieces. Like, please, whoever owns this house, please just wait for me to be rich and famous. I will buy it. I swear. <laughs> just wait. I need that out. Okay, I need to check on it now. Um, I will record my screen. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm really bad at this whole YouTube game. <laughs> I hate technology. That's not true at all. Okay, I got it all set up. I'm a genius. Um, buy your next Tesla from me. Now let's just jump into finding my house, right? Just so I can cry a little. Los Angeles, California, here we come. For sale. You know that. Here we are. Baby. I saw you right away. I'm tearing up. <laughs> this is very emotional. <laughs> Okay, get over yourself. My beautiful home. It's not as beautiful as I remember, but that, I guess, is how things be, right? Oh my god. Could you imagine? I could have swum in this pool for the entire summer. Like, what am I doing? This is where I could, I don't know, host a bonfire. What do you do with grass? I don't know. The view on a... I'm in love. Where is this? Beverly Hills? All right, I guess. And are you seeing what a mess my hair is? And like, I'm not wearing any makeup, but if I had this hair slash beauty, so I have no idea what this is. I've never, I'm not rich, but I feel like whatever's going on in here, I would look great walking out of there. Okay, now we're going to react to a billion dollar home. Could you imagine? Okay, so apparently Forbes reported on the first billion dollar home. I'm not gonna read through it because I'm not sure if I even know how to do it anymore. Okay, I'm being way too dramatic. Like, oh, he's the fifth richest man in the world, having 43 billion dollars. Honestly, that's nothing for me. Okay, here's the first view of the house. First of all, I'm sorry, but literally my iPhone 7 Plus, which I'm filming this video on, would take a better picture. And like, I don't need to have 43 billion dollars in my bank account to take a decent picture. Okay, so this is the view. Actually, I really like it. It's very futuristic. There are some guards hanging out. Look, here. Are these my security guards? A lot more security guards. Okay, I'm not sure if these are security guards or people making out. Because... Like, look how they're positioned. Um. Oh, what? Was that it? Forbes apparently didn't really want to report on it, so we're on landlord block slash live. Sounds legit. Also, it was the most expensive house in the world in 2008. Is it still? Because I'm not spending a billion dollars to have the second most expensive house in the world. What would be the fun in that? Uh, what will one billion dollar get you? Thank you. I want to know what my money's worth. Total of 27 floors. I feel like is that even a skyscraper yet? Kind of on the fence here. 600 members of full staff. Now this is very confusing because I'm buying the house. But they say that the staff comes with it. But I can't buy people. Like how can people come with the house? Three helipads. <sighs> Kinda sucks because... Where would I leave the other seven, you know? Apparently this house comes with a ballroom. I'm down. Oh my god, I always wanted to have a ballroom in my house. Like, I dream of hosting a midsummer ball and then another ball in winter when it's my birthday. I don't know if I watch too much Gossip Girl or whatever, but I feel like this is my calling in life. Okay, whatever, we want to see pictures, pictures. Mm. Okay, first of all, the pictures are all horrendous. So I feel like I already have a dislike against this house because like, when a picture is such low quality, the house looks low quality too. But let's just look at this. I feel like this is the first floor. You get into the elevator right here, right? You know what that screams to me? Boring. I mean, 
People can see you have money, sure, but why not do something cool with it? I feel like this is the ballroom. No, thank you. This is not what I have in mind whatsoever. Actually, I'm not mad at the candles. There are some things I guess I'm not mad about. Like, I can't really see what these flowers are. Maybe they're nice, probably, but I can't see them because it's just like one pixel. Now, here we got, I feel like an open restroom kind of situation. So maybe that's the ballroom's restroom. I like it. Not the style of it. I feel like the style is very older than my style. But I kind of like this round area and I kind of feel like a lot of gossip could be happening there and that's the most important thing about ballroom restrooms. Next we got, I don't know what we got, but I don't want it, so that's the thing. I don't have a lot of money, I have very expensive style and when people spend their hard-earned money, I get really jealous and mad when they spend it on things that I don't approve of. Not how I'm gonna spend my billion. Again, I have literally nothing... Is this the office? I don't know. The theater. Okay, I can't really see it, but it looks kind of cool. The pool area is kind of cool too. Dance studio, a yoga studio. The least I would want in my house. Okay, the top floor is really cool. I really like the design of the house outside and it's so like modern that the style of the interior really surprises me. Like you would never think that this is what you find inside of this. You know? Is that just me? Oh my god, his car garage has the capacity to hold 168 cars, which is his car collection. Since I'm a kid, I literally want to collect cars. He has 168. Never in my wildest dreams did I believe that my collection would be as big. But now it's gold. I don't want to fall behind. And I don't even have my first. I should start sprinting. Mm -hmm. Literally watching other people live my dreams. It's so hard. <laughs> my god, what was that? Oh, apparently it costs two billion dollars to build. And only four people live in it. They should really make room for a fifth person. I swear I'm just gonna stay on one floor. See, I told you a decent picture is going to make it look way better. Apparently the name of the house is Ant Antilia. Am I saying that correctly? Okay, now I'm jealous, like, this man really is out there living my life, isn't he? Because now I need to come up with a name for my house. We can't fall behind. Honestly, my house is so much nicer. Ooh, not trying to brag. Who are you? Angelica. I kind of want a bolder name, like a more mystic name. <laughs> Who literally looks up mystic names? Are you a woman? No, you, you don't have a gender. Cassio. I kind of like Cassio. Where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to Cassio. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. Sirs. Sirs? Where do you live? Oh, I, I live in Sirs. Kind of sounds like a religion. I also like Harmonia. But it's not namely enough, you know? And I really like Iman. Oh, I'm just buying new furniture for Iman. <laughs> work. Phoenix. I'm just gonna call it Phoenix. It's gonna confuse the hell out of people because I'm like, oh, I'm just going back to Phoenix. But I love the sound of the word Phoenix. It's like, Phoenix. However, you do not look like a Phoenix. Not at all. I feel like I need a new home. I need to go make a billion dollars and then I'm gonna check back with you. Ooh. What? Whoa.